Racist NFL anthem sitter stands in Mexico gets brutal reality check hours later from Emily Ann Entertainment U.S. News for MadWorldNews.com. The NFL racist athletes who continue to take a knee during the national anthem have now taken their protest across the border. On Sunday night, the Raiders' Marshall Lynch proved just how little he knows about politics when he decided to stand back up after sitting for our country's anthem and remain standing during Mexico's anthem. It only took a few hours after news broke of his insult for Lynch to receive his well-deserved reality check. After arriving in Mexico for a game, Marshall Lynch decided to show more respect for the corrupt country that he was visiting than his own. For someone who thinks sitting or kneeling for the national anthem is the most logical way to deal with social injustice, he has a lot to learn. His actions, along with the dozens of other overpaid athletes, do nothing but create a more divided nation. Throughout the football season, Lynch has consistently sat for the anthem here in America, but this time he took his embarrassing behavior to Mexico. He continued with his protest by remaining seated during our national anthem, but it was what he did next that is leaving everyone furious, according to the American News Hub. When Mexico's anthem began, he stood up back up and remain standing before their game against the Patriots at Azteca Stadium in Mexico City. I mean, this is really, really disgraceful. It's beyond disgraceful. What Lynch didn't take into consideration was the corrupt government that he was choosing to show respect over his own. Mexico has never been a country to praise for how its government treats its people, and it doesn't take a genius to figure that one out. I mean, Mexican citizens risk their lives to illegally flock to our country, after all. Sadly, Lynch doesn't seem aware of how things run south of the border, as he's chosen instead to be willfully ignorant. A preliminary investigation by Mexico City Human Rights Commission has found evidence of police brutality and arbitrary detentions during the violent protest during last Saturday's inauguration of President Enrique Peña Nieto. The ongoing investigation has identified at least four cases of possible torture, three of them involving electric shocks, as well as 22 cases of unjustified arrest among the 70 people still in jail in relation to the protest. Many of these face a preliminary, pre preliminary charge of attacks against the public peace, which carries a long prison term. The important thing here is that the authorities provide con uh, convincing evidence that the people who are sanctioned were really involved in the events and that we don't see people criminalized who were protesting peacefully or in some cases not even participating in the protest. The head of the commission's Luis Gonzalez Palcincia said, source The Guardian. Now, surely Lynch isn't taking a knee in protest of police brutality or he would have never stood for Mexico's anthem. That can't be his issue unless Mexican lives don't matter. His standing and kneeling seem to be strictly political and a desperate cry for attention, but because he doesn't like the president, he is willing to go to great lengths in an attempt to prove some unnecessary and grossly misguided point. However, the only thing he accomplished is a display of his complete ignorance I don't even consider it ignorance. I just think he's a piece of you-know-what. Marshall Lynch sits during U.S. National Anthem, stands for Mexican Anthem. <laughs> Lynch, along with the other whining athletes, uh, 
doesn't even know what they're protesting at this point and all they are doing is giving America and the people who die fighting for our country and the freedoms we all enjoy a big slap in the face. We don't expect much from an uneducated racist athlete, but the least he could do is avoid standing up for a corrupt government like Mexico. Lynch succeeded in one thing, making it obvious why he, we shouldn't take these athletes or their protests seriously. What a joke. If Lynch loves Mexico so much, he's welcome to stay there. Plenty of Mexican citizens would gladly trade places with him, and many of them would proudly stand for our anthem, too. I mean, this is it. They're, they're doing it for Trump mostly now, you know? And, and it's just dis disgraceful, and I don't call them only uneducated. I call them absolutely rotten to the core, and they should be taken out of America and shipped back uh, wherever they want to be, where they think it's a uh, fair let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.